Dollar Hey, hello, fun, and welcome to my new series of Hard Space Shipbreaker, where today we're going to be heading up into space to become a ship salvager. And I'm pretty excited about this. Now, this just released a couple of weeks ago on June 6th. I think it was and so it's still a very much an early access game it's not a full release yet which uh, kind of carries on with us playing a lot of early access games recently but hey they've all been fun and entertaining and I'm looking forward to this because space who doesn't love space now I brought us into here because it starts right into this whole thing and I wanted to bring you with it, but apparently mankind has industrialized much of the solar system and Earth has deteriorated into a place of squalor and decay. In orbit, a new breed of worker has emerged. The Shipbreaker. That's gonna be us! The labor is extremely dangerous, but for a select few, the hazard pay is worth the risk. Alright, so we're probably gonna die a lot. Cool. Cool. Yay, though! We're gonna be a ship salvager! It's gonna be awesome! Hopefully. Hopefully it's awesome. Everything that I've seen so far about this game looked pretty cool. It looked like there's a lot of fun stuff in the videos and the images I saw. So, uh, hopefully... Oh boy, Shipbreaker application paved the way to the Galaxy program. Update your application status. Uh, Alright, let's view update. Can I actually look around? Because it's kind of weird looking at it at this angle. Nope, apparently this is the angle we're stuck with. Cool, cool, cool. So, employment confirmation form. Greetings, citizen edges. You don't even get a name. Wow. Congratulations on acceptance into the uh, links. Uh, pave the way to the Galaxy program. From over 124.8 million applicants. Dang. You were chosen based on above average slash exceptional physical and cognitive ability. Participation in this program can be lucrative and rewarding, depending on a willingness to follow the vision and processes of Lynx Corporation. Oh, I'm... We're, ooh, we're definitely going to die. You have been assigned to Salvage Station 42, designation Morgan. The station currently has no additional personnel, but if you are able to demonstrate the ability to build and grow a profit, operation a number of exciting opportunities await you remember employment in the pave the way to the galaxy program is at the sole discretion of lynx corporation and can be revoked at any time acts of insubordination or malice will not be tolerated. oh boy i'm gonna get fired if i don't get killed i'm gonna get fired i know it all right cool on receipt of your electronic signature a shuttle will be deployed immediately to your current location to deliver you to your post training will commence immediately on arrival Finalize your info on the following pages to confirm employment. All right, so account name. All right, employees at Social Hub requires employee account name. Please enter an account name below. Profanity or anti-corporate slang slash jargon not accepted. All right, well, our usual. I mean, that is me. And select a revival package. Oh, God, we are going to die, aren't we? We're getting clones. Cool. We proudly offer our Body and Mind Revival program to new employees. Below are the details of your selected revival package. Terran Health Board Advisory, cloning has a 0.02% chance of DNA corruption. Ah, uh, great. So we can only have standard, huh? All right, cool. Oh, 150,000 clone fee, eh? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. We're going to lose a lot of money to that. Okay, voice ID verification to verify your identity. Confirm the voice file you've submitted in your original application. Coming soon. Huh, alright. Orientation preference. Select orientation scheme. Oh god, standard, not inverted. No, 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 no. Okay, and meal preferences. Oh, we can get meals? Our food processor can serve a variety of dietary preferences. Food cost is based on current market value and may change over time. So we got chicken, plastic free. So wait, we can have chicken, but it's not plastic free? <laughs> now is that, does that mean the packaging or is there literally just plastic in the chicken? I'm, hmm. <laughs> and what is entomotarian? I have no idea what that is. Let's go with plastic free. <laughs> that just worries me. That worries me that there might be plastic in everything. All right, next. 
Press agree to each statement. I have no criminal record in Terran or Martian zones. A record in the Jovian frontier is acceptable. Well, good thing. All right, good, excellent. Uh, I'm not a member of and have never associated with a workers' union or other labor interest. Ooh. <laughs> All right, let's just... I wonder if it won't let me through if I go... I wonder. Let's uh, keep moving, though. I have completed my annual medical exam and have been cleared of having McCullough's lung. Sure. <laughs> I have no commercial or real estate interest on Luna, in the asteroid belt, or in the nation state of Arizona. <laughs> oh, all right. I will bring a positive attitude and problem-solving mindset to work every day. Eh, sure. I understand and accept the health risks associated with long-term exposure to Vanderwall's field. Mm -hmm. I will vote for Chancellor Chun Zhang in the Pan American Senate ele election. <laughs> God, that's just. Some of these things are just too real, right? Yeah, it's not going to let me click in, uh, to next unless we click all of them. Yup. <laughs> all right. Fi oh, Jesus. I'm not. No. Oh, can't, no. Can't skip training. We'll just certify because I'm not reading all that. Even in the future, no one reads the the fine print. <laughs> Hard space ship breaker. Oh boy, we're entering the corporate future, aren't we? Oh, oh, we have a little cinematic. Oh, is that not my shuttle leaving? Awesome, awesome. It's a it's a lot of junk up there. <laughs> okay, okay. That's with the creepy little kid in the background, though. I like the little intro video, though. It looks cool. Of course, advertising on the space station. I'm liking the look of it all. Can't wait to see how it all operates when we are out here, because it is a zero-G space game. Oh, so is this our station we're coming to right here in the middle? I would assume so. It's really focusing on it, so that's probably our new home. Oh, look! Someone doing ship breaking! That's gonna be us soon. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we're gonna get a cool laser cutting tool, and we're in space. I'm so happy. Ooh, that's... Well, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. I'm going to crush myself with one of those. Boy, we're going to go through a lot of clones. I just I just have this feeling. <laughs> that's a cool little intro, though. That's nice. I like it. Okay. Let's get on in here and do our training. Oh, God, an employee handbook. Oh, no. The Delhi Class uh, 6 Modular Shear Laser was developed to be Shipbreaker's all-purpose cutting tool. Oh, I can cycle the tips. Ooh. I should probably be reading them all, but nope. Let's just press E. It's telling me to press E. We're listening. Welcome to Morgan Station. Uh-huh. Before we jump in here, Cutter, it's customary to observe a moment of silence for a departing Shipbreaker. Oh. You'll soon learn this type of thing doesn't happen very often up here. All right. Okay. Okay, we're good. Moment well, of silence over. My name is Weaver. Hi, Weaver. I'll be your eyes and ears when you're in the yard. Used to be a cutter myself until there were some uh, complications with one of my clone jobs. But oh. do you mind about that? I do mind about well, that. I want to know what happened. Go ahead and open your work order, and let's get started. Okay, tab for work order. If you ever want to pay off your debt like Sullivan did, it's all about completing your work order. Oh boy. All right. All right. Okay, so we got orbital man manual, thrust forward, back, descend, C, space to go up. Oh boy, I wonder if this game would actually be better to play with a controller. Hmm. We can roll. All right, so let's ascend. Ooh, we actually do have fuel. I just noticed that at the bottom. Oh, it's so beautifully floaty. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I love space games. 
It's gonna go over here. We can roll too. We slow roll, slow roll. All right, let's. Oh, thrust four. Okay, it actually has a work order there. Thrust order to thirty-six. I'm bumping some things. Okay. Thrust backwards. Oh, for three seconds. Jeez, I thought that's a thirty-six. <laughs> All right, we got that. Good, good, good. What's our next objective? Oh, we have a brake control. That's good. Descend? Anything below me? All right, no, we're good. We're good. And descend for three seconds. There we go. And ascend for three seconds. Brake. Love the look of this thing. It looks pretty. Oh, break for three seconds. I'm, I've been doing that already. Excellent. Got All right. it. These next two maneuvers are tough for most worms to wrap their heads around because most of you have never spent time in zero G. You call me a worm? We. Oh, I'm rolling the wrong way. It said roll left. I was rolling right. There we go. <laughs> and now we roll right. Excellent. Let's go all the way around. Okay. Well, this here is your trusty training vessel. Oh, cool. And in it are salvageable objects to cut your teeth with. Uh-huh. Let's give her a go, shall we? All right, we have a grapple, eh? So use the grapple to detach an antenna. Use the grapple push and salvage an antenna. All right, so we can grapple with left click and push an object with F. Oh, boy, I'm never going to remember a lot of this stuff. All right, well, let's uh, fly on down here. Oh, I do like that it is it is very floaty and w without uh, using the stop to stop ourselves. We just kind of keep going in the one direction. That's nice. Nicely done. All right, let's pull this thing. Do I, do I have it? Nope. Oh, I need to keep holding it. There we go. Now, where do I send it? Do I shoot it in one of those things? Hey, guy, where do I send the thing? Over there, maybe? I'm gonna shoot it. Your activity has dropped below nominal levels. Oh! Return to work. I have failed my work order! <laughs> Apparently, don't shoot it there! Okay, okay, your next of kin will be billed for unreturned equipment. I killed me? Eat a revive? <laughs> Where do we salvage it? It was probably showing me somewhere, and I just didn't notice it. Oh my god, we've... How did that kill us? Well, this here is your trusty training vessel. Oh my god, it's down there, isn't it? The That, okay, yeah, I'm dumb. <laughs> so they... they well, so they killed... What, they killed me for destroying an antenna? Oh god, we are really gonna die a lot. Okay, okay, let's grab that. Got it. And down here, down, uh, deposit, deposit salvage says it right there. All right, fire. Got it. Stop secure. Cool. I'm do the other. I'm gonna do the other. All right, let's not destroy the thing. And fire. Well, congratulations there, Cutter. Your very first pieces of salvage. Yay! Oh god, what's our debt? Alright, Cutter. You ready to perform a little zero G ship surgery? Yes. Let's boot up your scanner and see what we see. Oh my god, I'm never now gonna remember all the things. For cut points. <laughs> Think of them as the <gasps> chunks of glue that hold the key structural segments of the ship together. Oh my god, that's cool. Okay, okay. So Equipped with toggle scanner, hover over an object to discover more details. You cannot cut or grapple while in scan mode. All right. Push an object when grappled. Equip cutter. Ha ha. So, oh, what's my actual work order here? View nacelle cut point in scan mode. All right, all right, all right. Whoops. Hit F, not T. Bingo. All right, so that's the cut point right there. Nice. Kind of hard to read, but okay. Just got to go ahead from control to unlock your cutting tool. You may 
now equip the Stinger head mount. Oh my god, yes. the final work order objective required to complete your certification rank one training, and yep, you guessed it. Uh huh. Let's get them naysayers on the barge with them new tools here. Got it! Okay, yeah, that was actually really hard to read in this mode because everything kind of goes a little wobbly, so I cannot really read that what that cut point actually says. That's uh, maybe industry standard aluminum alloy construction pin for jointing ship segments together. Cut these to separate structure. I've. <laughs> That's very hard to read right there with both the color choices as well as the wibbly wobbliness. Alright, cool. Well, back to the cutter then. And fire! Uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Do I have to get closer? Oh. Okay, yeah. Oh, there we go. I did get closer. Alright, that's good. Let's go ahead and cut the other two since we have to get both of them. And there we go. Stop. And beautiful. All right, back to this. Probably do. Oh, oh, oh. It's losing it. Oh god, how do I? Oh boy, that's a. I may have to remaneuver. Oh boy, it's it's bumping into me now. All right, yeah, it's. I was trying to turn it like I did with the antennas, but it's way too heavy. Help. Oh. Ooh, that's probably not gonna go in. That's probably not gonna go in. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wow, yeah, that's super heavy. Jesus. Fire. Let's see if that makes it. It may. It may. It looks like it's good. I think it's going in. Slowly but surely, let's go to the other end of the cell. Let's just assume that's gonna make it. <laughs> Please make it. Oh God, it stopped. Oh boy. Really? What I thought it kept going there. All right, cool. Well, yeah, let's maneuver above this thing. Yeah, I do like the controls in this. They are very floaty and space-like. <laughs> All right, let's uh, pop up here and there we go. That went a lot better. Let's move forward. Pop it. Pop it. And all right, we gotta go to get this other one. That one should make it. All right, come on, come on. All right, that one's in. There we go. There we go. That should do it. That should do it. Come on. It's good. Nice. Certification? Go ahead and see where you're at on earning your first cert. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Just want to kind of maneuver myself back up this way. So, open pause menu. Certification. Oh, Jesus. Work order objectives. Cool. Oh, my God. I have a billion dollars of debt. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Certification quotas are reviewed at the end of each shift. All right, back. Okay. Did that? Earning certs gives you access to better upgrades and perks for your tools, gear, and equipment, as well as access to more valuable ships back in your hab. All right, cool. Speaking of which, Let's mosey on over to your personal habitation unit right now, because that's what you do when you finish your shift. C can I salvage more? I've got a lot of debt. <laughs> Alright, I'll go to the hab. Oh, I kind of want to salvage the rest of that thing, but nope, let's head back to the habitation. Oh god, yeah, we're going to have fuel and health to worry about later. Oh boy. Yeah, I do like the controls on this, and just, oh, uh, I really hadn't taken much of a look around yet. Look at all the stuff out here. That is pretty cool looking. Oh, very nice. This, this game looks cool. 
Earth is not looking so good, though. <laughs> All right, let's keep on rotating over here. There we go. There we go. Okay, we got a shadow. Always good. Always good. And do I just like run into it? Oh, oh, oh. F. And shift. Yes. All right. Quota complete. Yay. Congratulations, shipbreaker. Your hard work has not gone unnoticed. You have achieved the prestigious rank of basic certification. <laughs> Oh, man, yeah, we earned 186,000 credits. Oh, we still have so much debt. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's how you win the game, get your debt all the way down. All right, licensing upgrades, one, plus one modular laser cutter upgrade unlocked, and a ship class one certification. Cool, got the breakdown of stuff. All right, complete shift. Top of the morning to you, Cutter. As you know by now, this is your hat. Uh-huh. I know it feels a bit flat right now, but I hear Lynx is looking into fixing it up real nice for you sometime in the near future. <laughs> so right now it's a menu, but eventually they'll have it 3D. Here, nice. You're going to need an upgrade to complete your next certification rank. You're going to like this one, Cutter. Uh-huh. Let's check it out now, shall we? Cool. Also, yeah, I, ju I just do like that little bit of voice acting there. I was just about to say, too, before that, I wonder if we can move around inside the habitation. Apparently not yet. <laughs> That's good, though. That's good. Oh, modular laser cutter. Yes. Handheld utility grapple, thrusters, cross-spectrum scanner, or helmets. Yeah, we can upgrade all these things. We're upgrading the... Oh, my... Oh, God. We have to repair... Oh God, I'm gonna! Oh, I'm gonna be in so much debt. <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? The split saw license, Delhi split saw, and seven thousand nine hundred watt per square meter, maybe. Hmm, eight thousand eight hundred degrees Celsius. Bifurcated beam cutting head fires a splitting beam for speedier and more capable ship disassembly. The cutting head can be rotated for ease of use. Nice. Oh, and so it does. Okay, it also doubles the range from 5 to 10. That's cool. Yeah, purchase that. Now let's get back to the yard so you can try this sucker out. I mean, yeah. Back, back. Uh, start a new shift. Okay, before we hop back in the yard, I want to show you the ship catalog. Uh-huh. Here is where you find a selection of ships. Lynx is deemed ready for south. Cool. As I said before, earning certifications will open up higher grade ships. But we gotta learn to walk before we run, Cutter, so let's get back to finishing your plate on that Lynx training vessel. Oh, so that's cool. So you can end a shift and then come back to finish it up after getting some upgrades. Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's continue salvaging this. Yeah, Lynx mandates each Cutter salvage the maximum amount of value possible in a timely manner. Rewards and recognition may be given to top performers. Continue salvaging your existing ship. Okay, so the faster you do it, the better you'll get rewarded. Cool. All right, Cutter, another shift, another credit. Today's goal is to complete your certification rank two. And in order to do that, we're going to have to light up that new split saw mode you've just upgraded in the half. All Go right. Ahead and equip it now. And equipping. Then swap cutter head. Okay. And we can rotate anchor. Nice work there, Cutter. Awesome. Take the training wheels off and let you loose on this thing. <gasps> My advice is to knock out your work order first, and then see if you can salvage every last bit of the training vessel. We call it using the whole buffalo. Okay, but okay. Not want not, right, Cutter? Go get them, Tiger. We were out. Okay, so that thing I did earlier by launching stuff into there, apparently I'm guessing only certain stuff can go in those, so the processor probably for the soft crate? And the aluminum into the furnace? So me throwing a perfectly good antenna into a recycler was not good when, you know, they wanted down there to salvage those things. So how and how do we salvage stuff in here? Let's... Okay, so we got... We got a furnace there. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, it's telling me where it needs to go. Okay, so that goes to the furnace. Ah, oh, cool. 
That goes to the processor. All right, all right, all right. So that's... All right, so we need to cut those things open. All right. Let's... Yep. Let me... Yep. Stop. Rotate. Uh... Yep. Rotate more. And let's cut this baby open. Oh, that was cool. Oh, it kind of kicks me back, too. That's actually kind of awesome. Oh, stop there. Let's rotate. I want a good clean cut. And, oh, yeah, that's actually kind of fun that it kind of knocks you back a bit. All right, so you... Come with me. That's good that it tells you where it needs to go. Come here. Come here, you. You know, actually, yeah, go that way. <laughs> Boy, just getting used to the controls and this is going to be interesting. Okay, and fire. Go to the furnace, my child. And... Come on. Come on. Crap, I think it stopped just short. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. There we go. In. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. So let me, let me, let's actually head back over here to the other side. There was some stuff in here. Yep. Oh yeah, the flying in this is awesome. <laughs> Oh, I'm worried about having to deal with fuel, though, later. What is that? We can just grab it with this, though. But what is that? Is it just an aluminum panel? Alright, alright, alright. It's a little, uh, a little easier. Fire! That made it in. Oh. Let's grab that one. And fire! Oh! Oh! What? What? What happened? I guess it. I don't know what. It, I. I thought it was heading. I think maybe it hit just the side of the furnace and just got destroyed, and that means penalty, killing us. <laughs> They kill us for damaging goods? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, man. Now I'm back to here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, yeah, let's just go in. Ooh. Gotta have to cut that hole open again. Wait, what? There's a hole. The nacelles and antenna are back. What? I mean, okay. Oh. And boom. And there we go. Got that. God, this beam is pretty awesome. All right, grab that. Pull it out. Pull it out. It's not coming. Come on. Did I not cut it all the way? I may not have cut it all the way. How? We beamed the crap out of it. Oh, no, look, there's there's holes everywhere. All right, all right, back to this. Maybe the bottom isn't cut enough. That might be it. That might be it. And boom. Yeah, that was it. That got it. That got it. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm wondering why we did fail just then. I'm not entirely sure what happened. Oh god, don't let that go in there! Don't let it hit the sides, in you go! Also, I don't want to go in there. <laughs> okay, okay. So that was actually a lot of nano or uh, aluminum there. You get nano carbon. So that. Oh, I. 
I see, I thought that was supposed to go in the furnace because I'm just seeing the furnace thing on the screen, but I wasn't looking below the item. It's barge. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Alright, let's move. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we destroyed perfectly good salvage. Let's get as much as we can. We need to make that money. There we go. Come with me. There we are. And fire. All right, let's grab this again. Because, I mean, it's back. Might as well make some more money. And fire. Beautiful. Yep. And fire. All right, all right. So we're still gonna get nano carbon. Yep. And let's just fire. <laughs> God, I love this weapon. All right. And a little bit more. Stop. Fire. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those were, like, super heavy. Okay, get above it. Get above it. Get above it. And... Boom. Oh, yeah. I don't have to... I actually don't have to grab it before booping it. <laughs> and fire again. Fire. Just keep on shooting it. Actually, that's good. Multiple shots accelerated it more. That's Salvage nice. Secured. Account credit applied. All right, so still got to get aluminum and nanocarbons, which we'll get to, we'll get to, we'll get to. Let's uh, just... Fire, fire. Oh, is that not cut off all the way? No, it was clearly cut off all the way. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right, yeah, multiple shots really works nicely. Okay, so yeah, this stuff up here is for the processor. So let's cut out a nice good chunk of... You know what? Actually, let's take apart... Let's take out those. There we go. Some sort of structural thing holding stuff in place. You know, I actually probably... Just use, uh, that. Oh, yeah, I forgot that that's, like, super close range. Never mind, the beam is better. <laughs> oh, oh, God, I sliced through the wall a bit back there. <laughs> Perfect. And we're cutting it all up anyways. There we go. Yeah! So sometimes it really limits the beam, and other times it goes everywhere. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Can I just, like, cut this? Interesting. Hmm. So with those things out, can I move these? Oh, yeah, I can. All right, this is processor. This is processor. All right, all right, all right. So you're good to go. Fire. Nice. This good to go. Valuable object process. Credits deposited. Yep. Ooh, we got a big section of it. All right, cool. Let's do this thing. Uh, there we go. There we go. And... All right, if I get, like, right here-ish. There we go. Fire! Let's make sure it goes in. Oh, please don't break on the wall or something. I think we're good. I think we're good. It's an industrial station. It should be fine. Object accepted Got it. Deposited. All right, can I get this one then? Oh, yep, there it goes. There it goes. Yep, cutting all those supports worked out well. Boy, this thing is heavy, though. Can't wait for us to get an upgrade for that. All right, all right. So I need to get a bit more. Oop, oh, God, I'm inside the thing. All right, let's go like here. There we go. There we go. I'm getting a little disoriented. 
Okay, okay, so that's up there, and... Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so all this... Is all this furnace? All this is furnace. Can I... I wonder if we could bump this whole thing in. <laughs> hold on, hold on, let's get at a good angle. I think, yeah, it looks like it's all a furnace. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh god, it bumped me away! <laughs> did it move at all? I don't know if it did or not. We may have to cut it up into smaller pieces. Alright, get the cutter back out. And actually, this one piece is good to go. Looks like. Oh boy, oh boy, that might... Let's just make sure... There we go, winging in a little bit. There we are, a little bit more controlled. <laughs> Valuable component destroyed. Penalty applied. Wait, what? What? Did I shoot it into the wrong thing? I probably shot it into the wrong thing. Or did it hit the wall? Ah, oh, crap, man. We... <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let's rotate. Whoop. And fire. And... Fire. Alright, alright. Let's move a little bit more over here. Da -da -da -da. Got it. Alright, alright. Angle back more a bit over this way. And... There we go. It's free floating. Yeah, what did I mess up on that last one? I don't know. Oh god, I'm bumping it. <laughs> Good thing we're still in the tutorial and I'm not running out of fuel. <laughs> That's actually something that worries me for later. So does the... Did it seriously just bump like the side and get... I don't know. I have no idea why that failed on me last time. And we got our pay docked. That's unfortunate. Let's just watch that one go in, make sure we're fine. Oh god, it's at the front! There it goes! Alright! Nice job, Cutter. Now get back to your halves and your ships and spend them shiny new Lynx tokens on upgrading your gear. We've wrapped. I think I figured out why the last one went. It went in, the aluminum went in, but there was also these things attached to it that were for the processor. That'd be why. That'd be why. All right, tell me to go back to the hab. Let's roll. Where's the hab? I'm lost. Oop, that way. <laughs> okay, let's keep moving. Probably gonna be a longer video today because I just want to get through this tutorial section on this video. Oh man, it hasn't also taught us how to use a stinger or release thruster yet. Or release tethers. I just noticed the thing at the bottom left hand corner. <laughs> that's that's new. That's new. I, I haven't noticed that so far. Alright, and go in. Alright. I'm a recruit now! Yeah! <laughs> Okay, new gra- oh, the grapple thing! Awesome. Hey, we made some good money on that- Oh, the destroyed. Wait, how'd the aluminum panel get dis- Son of a- <laughs> Dang it. Alright, alright, complete shift. <laughs> God, we have a billion in debt! Congratulations on completing certification rank two there, Cutter. Now that you've proven you kind of know what you're doing out there, Lynx has a present for you. Oh, yay! Go ahead and make your way to the equipment upgrade screen and let's see what we see. Whoa. All right, so an upgrade to the grapple. So this is the tether thing. Purchase a license for a remote contiguous of Vanderwall's medium tensor or tether. Tethers can be deployed to establish two electromagnetic anchors that pull objects along a field medium. Cool. Repeat after me, Cutter. Tether. Tethers are our friend. 
cool. All right, well, back out we go. <gasps> we can change to another ship now. Oh, it's still the same sort of like training one, but a bigger one. Okay, with that, actually, I think this might be a good place to end it then. Can we... Yeah, I'm going to quit. Hopefully it saves my progress. I mean, I assume I will. Let's do that. Because, yeah, yeah, because that's... Oh, boy, I just noticed we're at 40 minutes, and that's a much larger ship that we're going to do next. Look at it. It has four in its cells. It's like at least three or four times the size of the, uh, the smaller, tiny... Big Orca. We're now the Calamity. Cool, cool. But, so yeah, that's going to be it for this one today. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm still, oh boy, it's going to take some learning, but that's going to be fun. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you have enjoyed. You do come back for the next, but until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.